Hi everyone, this is Brahmesh from Brahmesh Tech and in this video we'll discuss about the yearly forecast of both Nifty and Bank Nifty. Uh, I wish you guys a very happy and prosperous and a healthy new year. Uh, try to go with the trend. You know, uh, always remember this line like uh, we need to survive. If the capital is there, we can go ahead and tra trade the market again. So it's all about survival. If you survive, the opportunity will come. And once the opportunity is there, we can capitalize over it. So now this is uh, the astro, you know, the whole astro uh, dates for the whole year from 2022. So what we have done here is we have created a pivot of that. And I have just focused on the dates which are more than, which are the same event, astro events are occurring more than seven times. Now this is an easy way to find a major uh, cycle in the market. So this is how we find it out. Now these are the dates which I have already updated on my website, uh, which is brahmishtechanalysis.com. And in this, uh, you know, uh, we have already given the forecast for 2022. So these these events are updated. Now let's take one thing at a time and let me explain you in detail what exactly we are looking at. So first we'll go by GAN. So this is the GAN angle of Nifty and Bank Nifty. As you can see here, we made a bottom at one cross one line. And from there, we were expecting a rally till here uh, to the next GAN angle, which happened. From there, we had a small correction. Now, this line, this level somewhere around uh, 38, 9, 8 to 38, 800 to 39,000 is an important level. Once this is breached, the rally can, it can go to the next GAN angle and which is somewhere around 58,000. Anything is possible in market, but this is a long term context. Similarly, if the la last month's low of uh, 34,000 is broken, then we can see a fall all the way towards uh, 21,278. This is the bigger picture on Bank Nifty. Similarly, let me go to Nifty again. Again, a perfect rally from one GAN angle to another GAN angle. Now we are looking for a close above, uh, you know, 18,300 for the up move to carry us all the way towards, uh, you know, 26,000 on upside. And if 16,400 is broken, the fall can extend all the way towards uh, 12,000 odd levels. So this is about from the perspective of Nifty. Now let's uh, focus on the different different patterns. So this is an ABCD pattern. See, 16,400 is again an important. And from there, if this is held, it is also saying that we can see a rally all the way towards 21,000. And apart from this, this is the shark pattern, which is also getting formed which says that 18405 and 18856, uh, these are the two levels which I'm watching out, provided 16,400 is not broken. 16,400 is a very, very important level. Now this is, uh, you know, Andrew Pitchfork, which we have applied. Again, you can see it is bouncing from this angle and probably it is stuck within this range of 16,000 to 18,000. Whichever side is broken, at least 2,000 points move should be clearly visible in the market. And let me quickly show you Elliott Wave analysis also. Mm, yeah, so Elliott Wave is also focusing on 16,410. This is also giving a target of 2693. So if you are bullish on the market, keep 16,410 as your stop loss, at least from the portfolio level. Now let's go to Bank Nifty. Again, bullish ABCD pattern 34,000, which was the low of last few weeks. And it is expecting a rally. The pattern will complete around 45,400. Mind you, these are long term projections. It's not like that the market will directly move to this level. There will be many tops and bottoms, but this is the bigger picture. Provided 34,000 is not broken. If this gets broken, then you know we get the downside levels. And it has again bounced from the perfect level from Andrew Pitchfox and it is going up. And uh, let me quickly show you the Elliott wave. It is also showing a bottom near 34,000, rally till 49,000, then a correction till 45,000 then a rally till 52,000. So this is the bigger picture of both Nifty and Bank Nifty. Now let's, how, how do I find out levels? I use a program which we have written. Uh, it's, it's called as a musical top and bottom. So if I go here and apply to a major bottom, like 34,000, I get these levels and which act as an important support and resistance from the market. So these are the levels which I've already mentioned in the website. You can just take a look at these. Similarly, this is on the upside and if I want to see on downside, I have to go to this program, touch it here and from there we can get it. If 35,170 is an important level broken then 34,183, these are the levels which we are seeing on downside also. Now let's quickly look at the neural forecast. Neural forecast is basically, uh, you know, we, we give some data and with that data, we try to focus what could be the future move of the market and this can keep changing, but it will at least give you a forecast like it is showing that Bank Nifty can see a rally till six, then a small fall 
then a rally small fall and around 31st a big top and then a correction till 4th of April you know so this is what this neural forecast is showing it is showing that we will be mostly in a volatile kind of market because there is no clear trend coming going or coming down and if I look at for nifty so again neural neural analysis and uh, these these all studies are uh, you know depend on certain parameters and till that conditions are satisfied we can write the trend otherwise trailing stop losses and all that we have to keep in mind uh, it is showing that we can see a fall in nifty 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 now now see uh, it's very classical example now it is showing a fall but uh, today market has gone up so again we have to correct it it's not we provide the new data it will give give us the new forecasting so again i'm reiterating these are not holy grails uh, you know probably the market can start correction from tomorrow levels are paramount like 17 576 is a very very important level and we are seeing a good fight around this level today so this is about neural forecast and these are the important dates which i've told you like 4th january 23rd january 30th january because these are important astro dates in where lot of astro events like more than seven astro events are coming we are giving them major importance out of the total 1141 astro phenomenons which were happening these are the important uh, having more than seven events on the same day and that is why these these dates are very very important now how do we trade them see basically 4th gen you don't do anything on 4th gen note down the high and low and whichever side is broken high is broken you keep lowest stop loss and low is broken you keep highest stop loss and whatever is the range is there your initial target it is as simple as that and uh, let's quickly go like what, what was the forecast which and yeah so and this is the another important thing where we have drawn all the important lines uh like uh, these are the lines of the last year you can see here it was a kind of top from there the lowest breach a good fall came this was a bottom high breach and a good rally again uh top here again a top here a uh, good decent top and a good correction and last one came somewhere around uh, yeah 21st and from there we are seeing a good rally in the market and similarly these this is how we use the dates see here this was a kind of bottom high was breached you go long if this low gets breached and this was the next day low gets breached and we can take a good fall uh, this low was breached here and we had a good fall here so this is how in a simple manner we can use this so that's about it so this is the yearly forecast i've shared various studies with you and the levels i've clearly mentioned uh, on the website yeah these are the levels uh, 35 574 like today it went above it and we are already near near the first target of 36 513 similarly for nifty 17 576 is an important level and if that is breached then we can see a rally till 18,000 yeah so these all levels are there uh, you can keep a note of them put them on your charts and as and when they come take a trade so yeah that's about it I wish you guys all the best stay disciplined uh, focus on the right position size and try to go with the trend thank you